Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video here on the channel, and today we are talking about the version 12.60 update, and also a brand new tournament, which is um, exclusive to consoles. So, what's going on? Now, if you go online, uh, onto the Fortnite competitive tab, you will notice that there is a new tournament called the Standard Skill Cup. On May 19th, 5 p.m. till 7 p.m. BST. So it's in two days. It's a two hour long tournament. However, you have got to pre register. So if you want to take part in this on Tuesday, please make sure that you go to the Fortnite competitive website and register there. And the tournament will then appear in game for you, like it has done for me here. Now, Register to join in with Standard Skills Community Cup. You'll be matched against other console players in this two-hour event. After the after you register, it will appear in your Compete tab in-game, as I just said. Now, uh, points for this work slightly differently to any other tournament, to be perfectly honest with you. Two for a kill, then three for top 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and the victory. Um, all in all... It's just a little bit of fun, there's no prizes or anything for it, and it is just a one session. However, interesting thing, the description. We are running a test event on the new update, try and reach the top of the leaderboard. So, that's got people talking about um, the version 12.60 update. We know that it's coming, it's been in the staging servers now since um, Friday, if I remember correctly. Um, and it has been noticed about three or four weeks ago. In fact, it was what led me to believe that the season would be extended. 12.70, uh, for some known reason, has been removed. So we can assume that 12.60 will be the last big update of the season. Uh, when it will be, though, is anybody's guess. Um, what with this tournament, though, it seems uh, that it could be coming on Tuesday, the 19th of May. Uh, which would stand to reason as there is still the plausibility of 12.61 update which would be on the 26th of May and then the new season would be the week after that. So all in all 12.60 is probably coming in the next few days. Based on this tournament we can believe that it will probably be on Tuesday uh, even though most of the big uh, updates for this season have been on Wednesdays and Thursdays. However... It would stand to reason from the like from this tournament, like I say, that it could be coming on Tuesday. So, with that in mind, what does that mean for seasonal storyline and moving into season three? Now, the plausibility of the season being underwater themed is still there. Uh, there are maps going around showing a lot of water, um, quite a big oil spill where the rig was, um, also rumours of a location called Atlantis. Take those all very, very lightly. Now, the water theme has plausibility to it because there are posters that have actually been found even in these servers um, showing basically... Bit, we haven't seen the full poster, but we've seen like a quarter of the poster of like meow souls floating in water and stuff. Um, those have been found and leaked. Those could potentially be linked in with the season three storyline, which makes people think, oh, an underwater theme season. Yes, potentially. Even the location Atlantis is possible, and. A collaboration with DC to have Aquaman as a skin also is quite plausible, especially seeing as this season's secret skin was Deadpool. However, people seem to think that Aquaman could be the season 3 tier 100 skin. I would beg to differ in that case. I would argue more so that... Season 3, if it has Aquaman as a skin, Aquaman would be more likely to be the secret skin because the tier 100 skin typically has something large to do with the game storyline, not an event storyline. That isn't to say, however, that Aquaman won't be the tier 100. They could potentially 
incorporate Aquaman into the overall Chapter 2 storyline. However, the likelihood of that being the case, I would argue, is slim. So, what could be happening? I personally would agree with the possibility of the agency being destroyed or revamped. It's not going to have both. At least not yet. It could be revamped for now and then destroyed. Or it could be destroyed for now and then get revamped throughout season 3. However, the agency does seem to be the critical location for this season. Now, um, many of you have commented about how Loot Lake always used to be the main place on the old map and the agency is sort of a similar location in um, a similar place on the map. That probably isn't coincidental. Uh, if the agency is going to be the key location on this map throughout chapter 2, however many seasons it goes on for, then we could see it used a lot more. Uh, the shark. The re there is a reason I've come here. We don't have anything to do with the storyline here. Yeah. In fact, we don't really have a storyline to do with any of the locations. Now, this brings me on to the issue that I've had with Season 2. Chapter 2. Now... All in all, it has been a very, very good season. In fact, having a five-week extension to it wasn't even an issue because it was still a very... It's still been a very good season overall. Like, I didn't mind it being extended. And most people haven't minded the five-week extension. People didn't like the ten-week extension to season one... Because season one wasn't as fun. There was n wasn't much going on. Whereas this season, there's stuff going on. And it's always fun. And, pe and people are enjoying it. So, a five week extension to this hasn't been an issue. However, there is, like I say, one big issue that I have had with season two. And that's the lack of loading screens. Now... Those of you that have played the game for a while, you would know that your weekly challenges, you used to do them all, you'd get a loading screen and there'd be something hidden within the loading screen. But, that wasn't the only critical part of the loading screens. The loading screens used to tell you the storyline for the season. We haven't had that this season. The only thing that sort of shows us anything that's going on is map changes. And the map changes... Even those would normally be explained through the use of loading screens. But again, no loading screens, we don't have that explanation. So, why is the shark a prison now? We don't know. Why was the rig blown up? We don't know. And finally, why are some places changing their allegiance from ghost to shadow? Now, we can make a lot of theories about this, but there's not much evidence to support any of them. Now, you, some may argue I'm being a little picky, but I personally enjoyed getting a weekly loading screen to know what's going on with the map. What's going on with the story, what's going on with the characters from the season. Personally, I'd be quite happy if they brought them back for season three. That's just my personal opinion, though. I'll go down and open the vault. The vault of peril. What will it bring for us today? Hmm. 
Some reasonable loot in here, I've got to say. Wait. Did, did, did the supply drop just not give us a gun? I'm pretty sure the supply drop just refused to give us a gun. Oh well. We'll go through here for now. I'm going to go and grab this chest, actually. Then we can both make it up, and then we can head off on our quest. Oh, you already have a med kit. You could hold off on using your med kit for now. Oh, well, if you've got, if you've got more than one, then it's fine. I've got that map glitch again where you cannot see a name location. Which that is a very curious glitch, like the fact that they haven't patched it either. Like people are still getting it. As as you can clearly see right here. So it intrigues me as to why they haven't patched that particular glitch. But then again, I haven't had it for ages, so maybe it's tied into other glitches, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, all in all, it's quite an unusual one, the no-name location map glitch. <coughs> now, the other thing that I've heard people mentioning recently is what I was saying back before they actually announced the extension of the season. And that is that they're trying to work from home to bring us all of this stuff. Like, COVID-19 is affecting Epic Games as well. It, like, no one is immune to its impacts. We're all stuck at home, working from home in the in the new normality. So, the big question is... Will Season 3 even be ready for June? Personally, I would I would be quite impressed if it was. That's not a henchman, is it? Oh! Well... There you got both of us. Okay. <laughs> But, yeah, before I end the video, I would just want to finish that little uh, situation I was just talking about. So, yeah, Epic Games are doing all this from home, and personally, I think it's going to be fairly hard for them to release Season 3 when they said they would. Now, I don't think they'll go back on their promise. I do think we will still get Season 3 on June the 4th. Yeah, June the 4th. Um, I, I do still have faith in them doing that. However, I reckon it could be slightly buggy. So I think people might have to bear with them for the first week or two. Because it's a, it's a big thing they're trying to do. And doing it from home just makes it that bit harder. So, with all that in mind, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it informative, enjoyable, and fun to watch. And I will see you all in the next one.